Hey my lovelies, it's your best friend Le'Veon. Thank you all so much for stopping by. So in today's video, we're talking about duvet and comforters. The pros, the cons, the differences, and I'll also be doing a little bed styling for both. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll leave with some good information to help you decide on which one may work best for you. All right, so what is a comforter? A comforter is a type of bedding made of two lengths of fabric sewn together and filled with down, cotton, or other alternative fibers. A comforter is just one standalone piece that doesn't require any extra filling. Comforters usually come in matching sets, so they're pretty easy to style. Just pull it out the bag and you're all set. I picked this one up from HomeSense for 99 bucks. It came with four pieces, the comforter, two shams, and one jacket pillow. Purchasing the set all together can be easy for styling if you're not one for all the extras. It can also save you some coins by not purchasing any extra bedding decor. If you prefer the layered look, using a comforter makes it super easy to do. Comforters are usually fluffy, but after a few washes, they may flatten. When using large fluffy comforters, it may be difficult to wash if your washing machine is too small, which may result in dry cleaning costs each time you need it clean. If you're one that likes to switch out your bedding pretty often, storing the large comforters may be a problem. Either using the original bags or the vacuum sealed bags, after a while, they do take up plenty of space. What is a duvet cover? So a duvet cover is the cover for your duvet. It's the protective layer for your duvet insert, also having the purpose of design, convenience, and in most cases, more cost efficient. I'm using this cotton woven textured duvet cover set. It came in a set of three, the duvet cover and two pillow shams. I also purchased this at HomeSense for 50 bucks. Using a duvet requires two pieces, the cover and the insert, while the comforter only requires just one piece. Duvets are easy to store, super easy to clean, and if you love switching out your bedding, perfect for changing out. As stated, there are two pieces to your duvet, one being the insert. A duvet insert or down comforter is designed to fit inside of your duvet cover, sometimes also used as a comforter. It comes in a variety of different fills, perfect for you to choose your preference. Duvet covers and inserts both will come with ties or flaps used to keep them both together. Inserting the down comforter can be very difficult and sometimes time consuming. On our bed, I personally love using the ultra weight down comforter. Once you've gotten your two pieces together, your cover comes with either buttons, ties, or a zipper to hide the insert. If your nails are long like mine, buttons are not your friend. Once the down comforter and the cover is all put together, you can now see the difference it made allowing the duvet cover to have a lot more fluff. 
In this super simple style, I'm using a floral printed sheet set. When I use printed sheets, I always place the flat sheet face down. So when I fold the sheet over, the printed side is always shown. I mean, if you have printed sheets, you just definitely have to show them. So the duvet or the comforter, which one works best for you? So the comforter is easy to use. It helps create those wonderful layers. It's one piece and can come in a full bedding set ready to style. It may be costly to keep clean. They do lose their fluff after a few washes and may take lots of storage space. Or will it be the duvet? The duvet is interchangeable. You can choose your down fill. It's easy to clean and store, but it does require two pieces that can be difficult to insert, which also can be time consuming. Best friends, let me know your preference, duvet or comforter? Or were you like team duvet or comforter at the beginning of this video? Now you're rethinking your whole decision. Let me know it all below in the comments. If you enjoyed watching and was able to take away a little bit of info by watching today, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you aren't already, please go ahead and click on that subscribe button. I would love it if you would join my Extremely Modest YouTube family. I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.